Guys, in this cooler right here, we have one of the most special fish on the planet. You guys are gonna absolutely love him. It is a big, bad big. fish in this uh, in this cooler here. We're stoked to put him in the big saltwater pond. He's going in with everything else, the big grouper, the blue cod, the green mora eel, everything. Add him to the collection, baby. We're keeping it going, adding some epic fish to this pond. But first, before we put anything in the pond, we always have to feed these absolute brutes, is stuff them. And uh, they eat really, really well, so. Let's show you guys some epic clips of feedings. So before we put in the new fish, huge surprise coming up for guys, for you guys. A really epic fish that we're gonna get for this pond. We gotta feed Ooh. these guys. And <laughs> he's hungry. Dude, he's so irritated. <laughs> yeah, he, he's really coming along. He has definitely earned the name Pans. He wasn't, he wasn't Pans before. Now, he's now. officially inaugurated as Pans, the giant grouper. So we have some shrimp skin, we got some shrimp, and we have- Shrimp skin. And, dude, the koi like the shrimp skin, I don't know why. And we have a full filet of tilapia. I think we should probably cut this in half. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I fed him Perfect. a whole filet, and he ate the whole thing, but for this, let's try to see if he wants to eat a couple pieces dude. here. Look at the blue cod, blue cod's coming out too. Come on, buddy. Oh, I get scared, bro, the fish is big. I got scared, bro. Yeah. I got scared. I'm sorry. It's kind of scary. He's huge. That fish is literally like, he's I'd say at least 11, 12 pounds. He's big. I gotta watch for that blue cod, too. Yeah, that blue cod won. Oh! oh. Jesus. Jesus. That's the first time I've ever seen him eat. Okay, that's good. He needed that. He yeah, yeah. That. He's aggressive, that guy. All right, the blue cod officially hand fed, and the big uh, the big boy hand fed as well. So, look at the green boy. We still saw him. We still have a name for the blue cod, guys. I want to see like a thousand name suggestions in the comments. Drop them down below now. We need a name for the blue cod. Is this, is this even worth this time? Oh my Ooh, God. I'll take that shrimp. He turned on what that, bro. Beast. See, that's just a little appetizer he gets. He, he already ate the main course. He, got, he does it the other way around. He eats the main course, then he has the apps. I'm, like, I'm gonna throw this out there because I want to see if the green moray eel will because I'm worried the green moray eel is gonna get inside of what we built today and get into our new fish. So, yeah. all right, let's throw this over there. Maybe the blue pot will eat it. Oh. <laughs> oh my God, he comes up. Replay that, so graceful. Hands is a literal garbage disposal now. He does not stop eating, he just eats forever. Oh, what was that? The jack. jack. You want the jack? You want some? Look at that, there you go. Oh my god. Dude, look at the green moray, look at the green moray. Oh my god, look how lit up he is right now. Oh. <laughs> Dude, that is ridiculous. <laughs> he literally has come out of his shell so much. When we first got him, we're like, okay, this thing is like so lame, he's 20. He's He's 12 pounds and lame. No, he's an absolute beast now. Yeah, now he's a staple on the channel, but so is the green moray eel who needs to eat. No! <laughs> no! Come on! Oh my god, he almost took the feeding stick out of my hand! That's how you know it's a wild eel because when they clamp onto something, he rips it up like this to try to injure whatever he's getting. That is beast. He's a savage too. I'm really surprised the blue cod ate. Can we do a slow motion shot of the blue cod eating right now? Look how pretty that fish is. I saw a lot of comments that his name should be Smurf. That's a really good name suggestion. I do like that name, but I still want to see more. Drop them in the comments below. Come on, dude. You might be bold, guys. Alright, eel. No! Dude, that's a oh, he's coming out. Here comes the eel. Oh my god. Oh my god, he's out. Dude. That's incredible. This is our last shrimp. Okay, so we're gonna try to get the eel to come out or get it on his own. Ready? There's the eel. He's in his OG spot. He always hangs out right there. No, no, it's the jack, man. Oh my god. It's right there. Pan's got it. Pan's got it. Wow. Clean up crew. Clean up on aisle freaking nine. Yeah, he's, he's God, he's man. Up. That's a serious issue. I need to buy much more tilapia. I'm talking like five bags every time I go to Publix. Right here, you guys, is our contraption. Basically a cage that we made because you know what? If we were to throw this fish inside there, although he's huge, groupers, they don't like each other. They don't like each other. They don't like each other one bit. They are extremely aggressive. They're extremely territorial. So what we did was we built this thing, went to Home Depot this morning, got some PVC pipes, glued it all together, got some screen. It's really nice, actually. Zip tied it. Stuff you do for your children. <laughs> Fish guy. Yeah, baby. <laughs> and you know what? Got some noodles in there so it floats around. 
This way, the fish can see each other through it. They can smell each other. We'll keep them in here for a few days, make sure everybody's like, all right, I'm cool with this guy coming in my house. Because, you know, you if you got a guy coming in that looks exactly like you, no, you no, got no. problems okay, in the house. Imagine you're living in your house, and then someone just walks <laughs> through the door and says, I'm living here too. Yeah. No, just a random guy. You'd be like, yeah, yeah, you're ready you to fight. You want to fight right there. Yeah. But once you get to know the guy, and he's like, hey, can I crash on your couch you for a few days? Out. You say, all right, yeah, come crash. Yeah, so this is his couch. Yeah. This is going to be his couch for a little bit. And, uh, this is like the best way. This is like a huge tip from the fish, guys. Like, seriously. Introduce you got fish. a new fish coming into a tank that you're worried about? Pen him up. Put him in a cage. Let everything see him. And then you're good. So, uh, pans, then, yeah. pans in the blue cod, they have a blind date that they don't even know about. Yeah, they have no idea who's so coming. So, we have to introduce him. So, first things first, we have to get this thing secured in the pond so that it doesn't float around too much and scrape the uh, edge of the pond and then cause a hole. We don't want that. So no. let's get this thing secured, then we're gonna put the fish in. All right, guys, this is our contraption right now. We have this to hold it down and it's tied to a little string to keep it in place. So we're gonna give it our best shot here because this is the only, the only way. Right to the fish gods. Fish gods! Now, good thing we fed everything because they're probably gonna get a little scared of this. Okay. Whoa, hang on, hang on, hang on. She's glued. She's anchored down. She's good. Perfect. I think we're good, dude. I think we can get him in. Oh. All right, guys. Now that we have our pen in there. Everything's fed. And I know it's not super pretty, the pen, but it's literally only going to be in there for probably 48 hours. It's huge. Maximum 72 hours, just so they get to see each other. This so. Is the, uh, this is the unveiling. This is a big moment. Guys, this, guys. Guys. This is big. This is big. You know why? I'll show you. I'll tell you why after you see this fish. It's really... Touch his home. It's just like this. Touch his home. Now, before we show you the fish, I want to remind all you guys, June 6th, next week, the Fish Guys are changing the world. If you haven't already, sign up for our email list, joinfishguy.com. You get a free secret video that free. we will email right to your inbox, and you will stay tuned for our big launch on June 6th. We're stoked to We're share it We're changing the world, baby. It's going to be a great feeling, and you're going to be damn proud to be a fish guy. Mark my words, baby. Yes, you will. Good. All right, guys, here we go. Dun, 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 get dun, dun, get dun, ready. Dun. Three, two, one. Oh, nice. this guys. That is a bumblebee grouper. This is the first bumblebee we've bumble ever bumblebee. Bumble bumble this is the first bumblebee we've gotten since Potts, the bumblebee grouper. Now, I think. Hang on. I think we roll a tribute to Potts to, to Potts right now. Roll his highlights. Because you know what? Rest in peace, Pots. Comment it down below, and we gotta get a sick name for this. But no, no, no. Pots the second. It's fine. Pots the second. But here's Pots the first. Guys, as you can see, this is a bumblebee grouper. He's bigger than Potts ever was. I'm pretty sure he's bigger than Potts. And an honor, just because Pans took on the name, I think we have to go Potts the second. Potts the second. For I love this it. bumblebee. So we can say, Potts and Pans. What do you got in your tank? We got Potts and Pans. Pans. Let's go. Now, if you actually come in and take a close look at his head, you're going to see like a crater, a chunk that's taken out of his head that's healed. So where we got it, the guy had a clown trigger inside this tank too, and they would beef and beef and beef. And one day, Pots 2.0 said, I'm done with you, and he sucked him down. And Ate he him. said it was like this big, and that's where that chunk came from. Yeah. Sucked him down. This thing is an absolute brute. It's gonna go literally perfect in our pond. Oh my God. He's got beautiful yellow color on his tail all along the fins, all along the side fins. Absolutely amazing spots really pristine you do not come across these every day like this is super rare to come up to come across them this big so me and jack were like it's a must we it's no matter must. what we have to get this fish so we're gonna acclimate him and we're gonna get him in the big bin and hopefully the other groupers don't get too pissed and bust a hole right through our bin so we'll see what happens all right guys it's time to put my boy pots the second pots and pans pots and pans hopefully pots and pans get along i'm gonna be pissed if pots and pans do not get along but when he scooped him out of the tank, when we first picked him up, it was like a freaking nuclear bomb. It was like, <laughs> he flooded the guy's entire house. Me and Jack were like, <laughs> we used like six towels, bro. We felt really bad, but it, so bad. it is what it is. So hopefully we, this goes smoothly. Guys, this is actually where you got to dial it in. You got to dial in. You need to make it inside of the hole. Two seconds left in the game. You need to step back three. Step Let's back go. Three. Give me Butler here. I'm nervous. I'm actually nervous. If I don't make it in, this could be detrimental to the 
Come on, Jack. Okay. Inspect the net. Everything looks good. Okay. Here, right, we, go. here we go. Here we go. Pots 2.0. Pots Here we go. Come on. Pots a second. Come Buddy, on. You're gonna be good. I just hope he literally doesn't freak out, gets in, and busts right through the freaking thing. I know. Alright, he's gonna freak out in a second. Watch, Chris. You're in the splash zone. I'm here in the splash zone. Okay, that wasn't bad. Nope. Okay, get him in. Nicely. Dump the net. Perfect. Perfect. Jack. Dump the net. Let's Flawless. go. Flawless. Flawless. Keep it calm. The fish, you know, it's like a dog. It's like a dog. They sense your energy. If you're coming in riled up, he's gonna get pissed off. You gotta be calm. You gotta be like a bird. Pots the second is in the pond. We got pots and pans, baby. Let's go. Where is he? He's only gonna be in here for a few days, so stay tuned for future videos. Be sure you subscribe, because guess what? This guy is going in, and he's gonna be let loose to run the course, You'll see it run soon. the pond, and it's gonna be awesome. Pots and pans. Absolutely, I have pots and pans, baby. Pots and pans. I'm gonna have to get a little pot and pan here so I can clang them together. <laughs> Feeding time. Pots and pans. Let's go. Thank you.